Yeah, what's up guys? So in this video what I'm going to show you how to do is fix the permission denied error that you can sometimes get whenever you use the terminal or the command prompt on your computer. To fix it, it's going to be very, very simple and to help illustrate, you know, what, what, why it's not working and how to fix it, I'm just going to go ahead and create like a quick little demo shell script to help explain what it is that's happening behind the scenes. So basically I'm just going to create a file called test.sh. .sh just means shell script. If you're not familiar with that, it is no big deal. Touch just creates the file. And then I'm going to use Pico to edit it. So Pico is just a way of editing files within the terminal window itself. So Pico test.sh. And now I'm in the little window to help, you know, to write the code for it. So I'm just going to say echo, um, you know, hello or whatever. Echo just is like the print um, statement of the terminal. So yeah, let's just um, get out of here, save it. And now basically to run shell scripts, it's just dot slash and then the name of it. So test.sh. But what we're going to see here is it's going to say the file and the you know the command that we just entered and say permission denied. And why is that? So basically, things within your computer have like permission, right? So like you there you need permission to be able to read a file, you need permission to write a file, and you need permission to execute a file, which is what we're doing whenever we run the command to execute something within the terminal. To see what the permission status of certain things on your computer are, you're just going to type in ls dash l. And it's going to list everything within the current directory and show you the permission status of those things, right? So if we go up here and we find um, test.sh, which is right here, as you can see, we have R and W. So the first, so the first thing you can ignore the the next three are for the current, like you know, main user of the computer. So we've got read, write, and then we've got a dash. But if you look up above here, there's some of them have X's, right? So X means that you're able to execute, whereas if it's a dash, that means you're not able to. So how can we fix this? So what we need here is an X in order to be able to run that command. And if you do this for the, for the command that you're trying to run, you'll likely see the same result of having a dash instead of an X. To fix that, all you gotta do is type in chmod plus X. So we're like adding the X, lowercase, lowercase X, and then the name of what we're trying to add it to, which is test.sh. And now if I run that same command as earlier, dot slash test dot sh, press enter, we get hello. So it actually executed it. And if we want to double check, we do double, we do ls dash l, enter. And if we look back at test dot sh, we've gained all the x's that we previously did not have. So yeah, in order to fix it, all you got to do is be in the directory that has the command of what you're trying to run, and then type in chmod plus x, and then just type in the name of the file that you want to be able to execute or the name of the file that's giving you the permission denied message. But yeah, that's all there really is to it, guys. Hopefully this worked for you. Leave a like if you found this useful. Leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe for more content about, you know, computer-related stuff, terminal videos and all that. Yeah, peace.